Welcome back to Quick Tips. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about creating charts and graphs right here in Adobe Express. This has quickly become one of my favorite tools to use because it's so easy and fun. To get started, go to the purple plus button. I'm going to make a square graphic. Then I'm going to come over here to where it says charts and grids. From here, I can view various charts that I can use to represent data. For this demo, I'm going to choose a donut chart. In the chart, we have the typical options we see in Express, so I can resize it or move the chart to a different position. Additionally, right here in the top right hand corner, I can go and change this to turn off the legend or turn off the labels. I can also change this to percentage if I'd like to do that as well. I'm going to skip past chart type for a moment and go down to font. If I want to change the font for my entire chart, I can select this option and choose a different typeface. Here we can name our items. So if I want to change this, I can say maybe I want to talk about breakfast foods. I'm going to have bacon, eggs, waffles, toast. And if I wanted to, I can continue to add items and change those values of those items. Additionally, I can change their colors. Let's say I wanted to make this a very bright and colorful chart. All I have to do is select the color and adjust it right here on my custom settings. Now this chart's a little over the top, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to change your colors. Next, I wanna go back up here to chart type. If I hit the arrow right here, I can go through the chart. So if I decide that I don't like what I have, I could always switch to something more traditional. Remember, this is always saving into the cloud, but I probably wanna change the name of it right here. I'm gonna call that charts demo. And then over here on my right hand side, I have the ability to share this and download this. And one of my favorite things about this, if I go to download, I can select to download this as a PDF for print. When I do that, that would allow me to drop this into Adobe Illustrator without a loss of quality. Well, that's it for this week. Hope to see you again next week for another quick tip.